Look at Chelsea. See how we concede this goal. If you look to this with simple eyes, you say, Toby's fault. Lost the run of the guy, the guy comes here and he shoots. But now there is a shot and it's not a goal. Now it's going to be a second shot and it's not a goal again. And third shot and you can see the fucking goal on the third shot. You know, it's not possible. You have to read, you have to communicate. Playing for Mourinho, the demands of the game are, are huge now. You see the difference um, in, 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 in how, we, how we train, how we defensively, how he wants us to, to be. And, and I think that's, that's very positive. There's more pressure on us and it makes it more difficult. But now, of course, we know for more than ever, if you want to achieve things, you have to work as a team. Keep going, John. When you have problems here, we, we cannot be only thinking that these guys need to solve the problem, okay? These guys here, they need to help. The team is attacking our goal and we are walking. We are walking. If you sprint, I guarantee you guys that third shot will not be possible. It's this extra effort that is missing. We are always leaving each one alone. Fucking hell. My, my teammate is in trouble. I give everything to help him. We are playing our lives and we don't do the extra info. You don't defend as a team the amount of, of shit goals that we can see. Where are the levels of concentration? Where are the levels of, of being focused in what you are? It looks like you just play the game. This is not just about playing. It's just not just about playing. Let's go. Sometimes I am ultra demanding with players because it's not just the tactical organization, it's not just the game plan, it's also um, a state of mind. It's only possible when the team defends well.